Oh, um, hi. Hello guys, and welcome back to another Mad Has a 64 video. Now in today's video, I was looking at the Spotify charts, as you do, and I noticed that obviously Ed Sheeran, when you go to the UK Top 50, his album is the top 16 songs. And I just like, that blew my mind. Now obviously that's not the official top chart, it's not the whatever, but it had me thinking. Obviously there's gonna be a lot of people that are triggered by this, they're angry by this, they hate Ed Sheeran, his music sh shit. How could he possibly have the top 16? And it got me thinking as well. It's a good album, it's Ed Sheeran, he's a great musician, but why, the t why, how has it managed that? No, no one else has managed that. I've never seen it before. I've been using Spotify for a really long time. Why this album? Why? Has, has notable good songs, notable bangers, but not all of it. It's not my favorite Ed Sheeran album. I definitely preferred uh, the one beforehand. I definitely preferred Multiply, the green one. So it got me thinking, I was like, why? Because obviously there's gonna be a lot of people that, that hate this. So it got me thinking, what? I've said that a lot of times. It got me thinking, it got me thinking. I'll try not to hurt myself. What makes good music? What, what is it? What makes good songs? What makes a song chart worthy? Is it mainstream, mainstream media, ma mainstream music, just, just people listening to this one thing? So, oh, Ed Sheeran's released a new, a new cracking album. Best download it, buy it, listen to it, lords. Is that what it is? Is that what pushes it to the top? I mean, obviously that's got a big part of it. You know, the fact everyone's flocking to this one album, but people release albums all the time. So, you know, not even Justin Bieber, when his new album came out, he had the top three. But he, I suppose he had that in the official charts, and that lasted a very long time. That was a big thing, that was a record breaker. But to Ed Sheeran to have the top 16 on Spotify, I think that's quite significant. You know, you have all these people flocking and listening to this one album. But then obviously, you know, whether or not you love or hate his music, I don't want this video to seem like just one big Ed Sheeran appraisal, because it's not. I'm critical of the album. But what I want to touch on is good music. So good music for me personally is is lyrics. It's the tune, the melody, uh, you know, is it catchy? Do you remember it? Is it in your head? You know, that's, that's good music, something you can sing along to, something that sparks something up emotionally inside of you, something that, you know, you can, Hello, you can sit there and you can be like, yeah, this is my jam. You know, something that really sort of maybe speaks to you on a personal level. And that's what music's all about, really, isn't it? What sort of connects to you on a personal level? Hence why everyone's music tastes are different. Hence why there's just millions of different types of music out there. And I just, you know, I just, I'd pose the question. I'd ask the question, what makes good music? You can answer it in the comments below, message me privately, whatever, whatever you fancy doing. But I just, you know, spark up a bit of conversation. What makes good music? Because obviously I know people that love, you know, they love metal. They love anything, you know, sort of, way out there metal heavy metal grunge i don't i'm not i'm sorry i'm probably triggering loads of people you know de death metal uh, there's all that and you know i sometimes listen to that side of the music you know i'm on that side of the fence i listen to really poppy i love justin bieber i listen to slightly lighter i listen to bring me the horizon i listen to all time low i listen to a day to remember rise against you know I, i'm on that side and then on this side you know i listen to the old jays the ed sheerans the bastilles uh, Panic at the Disco, you know, I, I fairly, you know, even, I love mov movie soundtracks, you know, I love, you know, g give me a good old soundtrack, you whack Lord of the Rings soundtrack on, you whack a bit of Star Wars soundtrack on, uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, you know, even some game soundtracks, I will listen to those, you know, good, good music, good music, something that, I guess it all depends on your emotion and what mood you're in, but yeah, what makes good music? This. Hey, ah! Is, is bloody great to some people, but to, to, to most, and I say to most, most people hear that and they think, what the bloody heck is that? What is all that noise? And equally, you know, when I'm playing my acoustic chilled vibes and I'm just, you know, listening to some acoustic chilledness, people don't like that. It's boring, it's bland. So, you know, what side of the fence are you on? What makes good music? I think it's very important to have, you know, a knowledge of the instrument you're playing. And, you know, that's not to say you have to play an instrument. Obviously, there's a lot of music out there that's synth synthetic now. It's all made by machines and computers and... <laughs> Kygo's song with Selena Gomez. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the newest one. It Ain't Me or something. I don't know. 
good song, you know, good melody, good beat, good rhythm, lyrics are okay, obviously Selena Gomez's voice is alright, I like this trancey sort of vibe music, I can, keep, I can keep asking the same question guys, what makes good music? Answers in the comments down below, I've been Madhazard64, if you like this video guys then definitely give it a thumbs up, if you want to subscribe for more of my face and my antics and my terrible accents, then hit the subscribe button, because you know, deep down, you want to. Different kind of video guys, not usually what I'd post, I just, you know, I was in the shower, I was listening to the top 50, and obviously I had it on shuffle, and pretty much every song that played was an Ed Sheeran song, so thanks Spotify, your shuffle, uh, I think, is a bit biased. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below, that rhymed, I've been Madhazard64, you've been you, Thank you very much for watching guys, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.